Why did Mace Windu never trust Anakin, especially after the many missions they went on together throughout the Clone Wars? Is it because his Shatterpoint senses felt something off about Anakin, or perhaps because he was jealous of Skywalker becoming a master so young? Well, neither, actually. Part of it is from them having opposite personalities, reckless and emotional versus wise and stoic. But as it turns out, not only was Mace usually very happy with Anakin as a person, there's even deleted scenes of Mace praising him to Kenobi himself. Obi-Wan, you must have faith that he will choose the right path. And here's something that's said about Mace in the book Brotherhood, released in 2022. Anakin even saw disdain from Mace during his knighting ceremony, with Mace scowling and giving him the stink eye. Anakin felt part of it was because Mace blamed him for Qui-Gon falling in the battle against Darth Maul. Plus, whenever talk of the prophecy and Anakin being the chosen one arose, Mace wouldn't hide his disgust. That made him caustic and belittling towards the young Padawan, especially when the Jedi became more integrated into the military as the Clone Wars began. Our first theory for this distrust actually comes from Reddit. I have a theory about Mace Windu and the reasons why he disliked Anakin. In Wikipedia, I read that Windu was always more arrogant than the other Jedi. Of course, he knows how to control his feelings, and that's why he's earned his master rank so quickly, and that's why he was the youngest to join the Jedi. I counsel. The most unique thing about what everybody knows about Windu, about his purple lightsaber color, is that everyone knows the reason was of course that Samuel L. Jackson asked Lucas and that's why it happened, and he instantly said yes, but in the backstories we can learn that Windu saw the saber in his dreams and was really working hard to build it after he informed the council. With the crystal from Hurricane, Windu was able to build his lightsaber. Many fans know the thing that he had a special ability to see the shatter points in the future and see how his actions affect the future as well. This ability helped him to become the most skilled swordsman in his class. When Qui-Gon Jinn is talking about Anakin and his abilities to the council, Windu is really doubtful. Windu seems not to want to believe that some boy from that messy planet could be the chosen one of the prophecy. Maybe he secretly thought that he is the chosen one. He is the most capable warrior in the order after all, his lightsaber is unique, and he even has unique ability in the force. It would be logical to believe that. Windu was always very prideful and arrogant, and he had the same feelings like anyone else, just tried to keep them in secret. In Revenge of the Sith, everybody talks about Anakin and his destiny like it would be a fact, but when Anakin finds out the identity of the mysterious Sith Lord, Windu doesn't trust Anakin and doesn't even take him to help in the arresting. After he defeated Palpatine, Windu is all like, I'm gonna end this once and for all. He should have asked Anakin to finish Palpatine off, like in the prophecies. After Windu's death, Anakin truly regrets his decision and he slowly turns to the dark side. I truly believe if Windu takes Anakin with him to arrest Palpatine and he can see the massacre of the other Jedi Masters, he never turns to the dark side. Anakin always respected Windu's skills, actions, and his personality. He always wanted to impress Windu, but Windu was never able to like Anakin because of his jealousy. At that point where Anakin made his decision to choose between light and dark, and when he saw that Windu tried to steal his destiny, he made his final decision. So about that theory, I think it's pretty good. There are some far-fetched things in there for sure, and I don't know how much of the Mace Windu having jealousy on Anakin thing could really be justified, but it is a decent theory. I will give it that. And now going into Wikipedia to read directly from kind of Mace Windu's thoughts throughout the prequel trilogy in regards to Anakin to really get a true canonical look into what he thought. Although Skywalker possessed the highest concentration of midi chlorians in his cells, Windu was skeptical of Jin's claims, but nonetheless agreed to meet the boy in the council's chamber, where they would evaluate his aptitude with the Force. The council was impressed by Skywalker's ability to use the Force without any formal training, but they also sensed his emotional attachment to his mother and a great amount of fear within him. As such, they declined Jin's request to have him trained in the Jedi arts. Windu personally felt that Skywalker was too old to commit his life to the Jedi Code as well as the Force without the distraction of his emotional attachments. The Council soon reversed its decision after Jin's death during the Battle of Naboo, entrusting Skywalker's training to the newly anointed Jedi Knight Obi-Wan Kenobi. 
Windu continued to doubt Skywalker's ability to commit himself to the Jedi way, however, and his ill-concealed distrust would put a strain on their relationship throughout the years as Skywalker ascended the ranks of the Jedi Order. The training of Anakin drew the attention of his peers, Padawans, and Jedi Masters alike, as well as Chancellor Palpatine during his first three years as a Kenobi's apprentice. He especially took an interest in lightsaber combat, as noted by Palpatine, although Windu was more focused on the training droid that Anakin was using one time, mimicking the appearance and fighting style of Darth Maul that Skywalker sparred with. Neither Windu or Kenobi had expected to see Skywalker duel with the visage of Maul, but the act served to impress Palpatine. After mentioning that Skywalker's training was an extremely difficult task for Kenobi, Windu politely declined the Chancellor's offer to help guide the young Jedi. However, Palpatine claimed that as the Jedi were under the jurisdiction of the Senate, by extension they also reported to the Senate's Chancellor, and after considering Palpatine's line of reasoning, Windu agreed agreed to send Skywalker to speak with the Chancellor. Leading up to the start of the Clone Wars, the High Council was confident that Skywalker was ready to be given a mission of his own for the first time. And here's the Attack of the Clones deleted scene which shows Mace defending Anakin and telling Obi-Wan to trust in his Padawan that I mentioned earlier. It appears someone doesn't want us to know about this Camino system. Which means there's something happening on that system that we should know about. I'm concerned for my Padawan. He is not ready to be on his own. Prophecy is true. He is the one who will bring balance to the Force. But he still has much to learn. His skills have made him, well, arrogant. I realize now what you and Master Yoda knew from the beginning. The boy was too old to start his training. Master, we should not have been given this assignment. I fear Anakin will not be able to protect the Senator. Why? He has an emotional connection with him. Obi-Wan, you must have faith that he will choose the right path. Yes, Master. Following the Battle of Coruscant, Windu was disturbed by Chancellor Palpatine's decision to appoint Anakin Skywalker as his representative on the Jedi High Council. But anyway, that's it for this video. You can subscribe if you want to. Uh, there's also live streams and merch out now, and there will also be a members only tab as well, which you can join if you want to support me for whatever reason. There's also videos that come out all the time. I try to do at least one to two every week, always on Friday. And I also post shorts always on Saturday. But uh, yeah, see ya.